what is up everybody we are back with some more microsoft fly simulator 24 we're going to continue doing some more tests and hopefully we can get through all of these i think we got nine more counting this one to do uh, and i looked up the, the camera to thing to, to move it and i got it figured now it's out time now. to test the skills you've learned as you can see we're cruising at six thousand feet on a north heading of 360 degrees are we Start by descending to 5,500 feet while maintaining a northerly heading. Uh huh. Decrease, maintain heading north. Uh. While descending, reduce throttle to avoid overspeed. Uh huh. Decrease, maintain heading north ish. Okay. Uh, we still need a little bit more. 5,500. Oh. Not quite heading north yet. There we go. Now we are. Guess we can kind of just look at this instead of uh, out the window. Go on. While there. descending, there we go. reduce throttle to avoid overspeed. That's good. I was. Now, climb to 6,000 feet and turn to a south heading. Oh, okay. On the Cessna 172, you need full power to climb effectively. I know we're... Oh, shit. We're climbing a little bit too high here. Go ahead and bank it and turn. Uh, we're heading south yet? Not yet. Oh shit! Keep your control action nice yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Turn now walk climb on. to six thousand feet and turn to a south heading. On the Cessna 172, you need full power to climb effectively. Okay. I'm going to just kind of do this. I can vaguely see. I see that there is a, a green arrow uh, on the turning thing. Now we're getting close to 6,000. Got to slow down a little bit. Still trying to get this thing to turn without fucking up too much. <laughs> it's a little jerky there, right. but we got it. Next exercise. Uh huh. Maintain your heading of 180 degrees. Stay at 6,000 feet and adjust your airspeed to 80 knots. 80 knots. Uh, 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 how do I know how fast I'm going? Uh. Go ahead and reduce your speed. Uh, I'm reducing, I'm reducing. I think. Uh, where's my speed at? I don't even know. Go ahead and reduce your speed. Uh, I'm trying. But we're not heading south anymore. Is that it over here on the left? The 93? Did it say stall? Stall. Yeah, I think it's stalling out a little bit on us. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Climb some, and then we need to level out. We are dropping. Don't need to drop. Oh my god.
Oh, I see our speed on the other thing. What the fuck am I doing here? Looking at the thing. I see it down there in the bottom corner. Uh, we need to keep on climbing. That is you did okay. well, but you can do better. I know. I probably made a seat in a I even fucking passed. Probably flunked. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Alright. We'll see, we'll see. I didn't think there was gonna be so much training. I just wanna get right into it, yeah. A B? Oh wow, wow. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh turn while climbing, that that was our best. <laughs> All right, so we got a pre-flight training here. We actually have to inspect the plane and all that kind of stuff, make sure it's Hello. fueled up. Today, we're going to go over all the steps that precede turning on your engine. Those steps are essential to ensure your aircraft's integrity and that everything is in order for a smooth and seamless flight. First of all, stretch your legs a bit and take a look at your aircraft and your surroundings. We never took much time to look at our aircraft from the outside, so take your time if you want to inspect it. You might have noticed some extra bits on your aircraft. These are the covers and chocks. Covers are installed when the plane is not in use and are meant to avoid damaging its sensitive parts. Chocks are there to immobilize the aircraft. You'll need to remove them before takeoff. Mm-hmm. So, remove engine cover. Remove that. Can it pop up? Oh, come on. Can I not? Examine. Left tire. Yep, that's that's the left tire. Have to re remove the front and back separately. It's, it's not letting me move them. Okay. Can examine it. Looks good. Oh, oh, I didn't want to enter. Can we exit? Uh, why is my camera not working? And this game loads so slowly, and I think it just froze up on me. Oh nope, there we go. Can I go ahead and exit? Right. Uh, open close. Baggage door. Yeah. I don't want them to do stuff with the uh check. Uh yeah. Looks good. Yeah, I know it wants me to move those tire things. The blocks there. But. I don't know how. It's not giving me the. Or it's not actually removing them when I clicked on it. We'll go. If I ever examined that, I think I did. Wait, okay, now it did. I don't know why it didn't let me do that while I go. Is there more? Oh, this. And we're done for the outside. Okay. Now that we're sure your aircraft is functional and ready to taxi, let's check the inside. Go ahead and uh, check this wing. We haven't done this yet. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and enter. Let's get to the matter at hand. You've been given an EFB, also referred to as an electronic flight bag. 
It's a tablet that stores critical flight information and is the ideal tool to prepare your flight plans and enhance your piloting experience. Open it and take a look. Feel free to follow a quick guided tour of its features. Mm hmm. Is that it? That's not it. You're not going to tell me what button to push for that? I forgot. I don't know. Huh. You know what? Uh, it doesn't tell me over here either. Oh, that fucking tells me. Did I close that for some reason? I don't know why I would have closed that. Okay. So now that helps a lot. The YFB okay. features an interactive map, a flight plan editor, aircraft and current flight information, a nav log as well as fuel and payload options. The YFB has plenty to offer, but if you want to get directly into the action, you can turn it off after you finish the quick tour. Mm hmm. Oh, check. Okay. Oh, my God. Why does everything gotta be so small? I've been messing with this. I got this bigger so I can see a whole fucking lot better now. February 2018. What? I like how this game just came out. It's the 2024 one, but they got it 2018? Really? Huh. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and exit that, I guess. It seems like we're all clear on the checklist. Now start this pretty bird up. Uh, start the engine either by completing the checklist or quick start with. Now that we've covered all the preparations, let's get to the good stuff, shall we? Oh, hell yeah. Could have got an A on that, I hope. <laughs> there shouldn't have been much I could have fucked up except not finding that or being able to pull that one thing. Yes, sirs. Let's take a moment to talk about taxiing. Mm -hmm. Taxiing refers to moving the aircraft on the ground under its own power. In particular, getting from the ramp out to the hold short point on the edge of the runway. Steering on the ground is managed through the rudder pedals. That's right, unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. Okay, ready? With the throttle idle, release your parking brake. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now, gently increase throttle to get the aircraft moving. Go easy on your throttle. Use your rudder pedal to turn left and enter the taxiway. Increase throttle to gain forward momentum and then reduce RPM accordingly to match a fast walking speed while taxiing. Now, test the brakes. Watch your speed. Okay. Good. Brakes checked. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. Unfortunately, one of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. What? Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Let me cross out of the taxiway. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us. Stop before it, as if traffic was coming off the runway. Okay. Why am I not going? I'm guys, but say, why am I not going here, guys? <laughs> Where do we got?
Well. Oh, we gotta stop in here? I thought we had to stop. Or come on, stop, 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 stop. Unfortunately, one of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. Oh, so that's what happened while we Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Okay. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us. Stop before it, as if traffic was coming off the runway. Yeah, stop before it. Don't don't tell me stop in it. I stopped before it, bitch. Unfortunately, one of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. The fuck are you talking about? Right. Taxi to holding point Alpha 1 next. It's at the far end of the airport, near the head of runway 21. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center, marked by the yellow line. And watch your speed. Okay, come on. Why are we not moving? Come on. Why are we not going? Hit my fucking brake thing like 20 times. Watch your speed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what my ground speed is. Watch your speed. Okay, I'm slowing down, bitch. I don't know what you want me to do. Watch your speed. I'm trying. After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point in prep for takeoff. Watch your speed. I'm trying, bitch. Oh my god, really? One of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. Every fucking time. All right, taxi to holding point Alpha 1 next. It's at the far end of the airport, near the head of runway 21. Okay, well, I'm Stay trying. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center, marked by the yellow line. And watch your speed. And watch I Watch your speed. I am. I don't, I don't know what my watch speed your is. Speed. Oh my god, bitch. You said that one more time. We're gonna have some issues. Watch your speed. Oh my god. I don't know what my speed should be. Watch your speed. After I'm the right trying. turn, come to a stop before the hold short point in prep for takeoff. Watch your speed. I'm trying. Unfortunately, one what? of the wheels crossed out of the taxi. Ah! I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. All right. Taxi to holding point Alpha 1 next. Ah, it's at the yes. far end of the airport, near the head of runway 21. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center, marked by the yellow line. And watch your speed. Watch your speed. Okay, what speed am I supposed to be doing? Watch your speed. I don't know what speed you want me to do. I know earlier this isn't about watch fucking speed. Uh, walking speed. After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point. Ah, for takeoff. I'm going too fast. Watch your speed. I know. Unfortunately, Man, we're going to fucking fail this. Out of the taxiway. I don't right. know if we can Taxi actually fail. Taxi to holding point Alpha 1 next. It's we're, at the far end of the airport. We're going to get as far as we can get. Near the head of runway 21. One. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center, marked by the yellow line. And watch your speed. Watch your speed. I'm trying. Watch your speed. I'm trying. Decelerating. I'm trying Watch to break. your speed. We even got the little fucking arrows. Have we not had the arrows any of these times? After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point in prep for takeoff. I don't know. Where we're supposed to be? That was good taxiing. Thank you. The next oh. challenge will be to keep the aircraft under control while at full throttle for takeoff. Oh, that's that's uh, <laughs> okay. Trying to keep it under control, huh? See how bad we did here taxiing. Ain't no cab company. A B, really? Now all those times I failed, and you're gonna give me a B still? Okay. There's an old saying I like, a mile of road will take you a mile. 
A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, uh -huh. but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway. I guess right. <laughs> and bad. to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Yeah. Runway numbers are not arbitrary. Each number matches the first two number of the runway's compass bearing, rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. For example, a runway orientated towards the north would be number 36, which is 360 degrees on a compass. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Okay. Ready? All right, let's do this. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Okay. Full power, baby. Use your rudder to stay on the center line, and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Guess it's center line. Oh, this white or yellow. Oh, whoa, Good. whoa, whoa. Now, gently pull back on the yoke. Okay. And we're airborne. Damn right. I get a little crazy there. Trying to keep it centered. Don't see. Don't see. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. Okay. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to remove the left yaw plane as when climbing. You can see our current yaw input by looking at the MFD's slip skid indicator. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. What are you talking about don't sink? Oh, shit, my bad. Maintain hitting something. Two ten. Go this way. Maintain seventy five knots and climb to five thousand five hundred feet. Okay. What's this? Uh, two ten. Fuck is five hundred. I don't know where the two be this way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so fifty five hundred. Bit of climbing here. Trying to figure out where that two ten degrees was. We're gonna have that compass wrong. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 feet. Oh, we are climbing. Holy yet surely. All right, let's do this. What? Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. What the fuck just happened? I was getting there. I was actually getting there. Motherfuckers. Did I fail? Use your rudder to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots.
a lot better than what it was. Line up the top of your instrument panel, so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb altitude. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Mm -hmm. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to remove the left yaw plane as when climbing. You can see our current yaw input by looking at the MFD's slip skid indicator. Need to go this way a little bit more. Oh. Come on. All right, damn it. Uh, don't stall on me. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 feet. I was trying. I'm trying not to jerk it too much. If I'll say good job, but we finally got it. For this landing exercise, I want you to focus on the yoke only. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. Pitch up if you're too fast. Keep your airspeed at 65 knots. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose will does. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so up to slow down. With runway. Oh shit, oh shit, We're oh shit. Up on flare height. Yes, we are. Resist the temptation to pull back. Now, focus. Oh, you, you told me. <laughs> you told me to pull back, so I didn't. <laughs> that was your fault. Alright, let's try this again. For this landing exercise, I want uh, you to focus on the yoke only. Yep. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. Pitch up if you're too fast. Keep your airspeed at 65 knots. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose will does. Okay. Uh. Go down a little bit more. There we go. If we can do this without flipping. She told me don't pull back, but then there's like... Telling me to pull it up a little bit. Come on. We're coming up on flare height. Resist the temptation to pull back. Now, focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Oh. Kind of nice. told me that too late, but now, okay. Apply the brakes progressively to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Use rudder pedals to stay on the center line. Okay, we're we going all the way to the end, or what are we doing? Stopping wherever. Well done, but there's room for improvement. Oh, I know. Keep in mind that approaching the runway at the right speed is key to a good landing. All right. 
In the first part of this landing exercise, I want you to stay on the glide path by using the throttle. You can make small corrections with the yoke to stay aligned with the runway. Smooth action on the throttle is key for remaining on the correct glide path. If you find yourself too high, reduce your power. If you're too low, increase it. Remember though, always make soft corrections. You don't want to overcompensate. Now you can use the elevator to land. Mm -hmm. Not aligned with the runway? Reduce throttle to idle. Now, focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nope. Now, apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Alright, <laughs> that was terrible, if you ask me. You did well, but you can do better. <laughs> yeah, I can do a lot better. I feel like we did better there than we did the other one because we... We did crash and burn the first time landing. But we don't pull up and yeah, we just nosedived. We got another landing. My first here. instructor used to say, the best part of flying the is landing instructor. in one piece. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Oh, I don't know about and all that. I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 20 degrees of flaps. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. I don't know what you're talking about, woman. Oh, I see it way out there. Okay, I was trying to figure out where the fuck the thing was. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Let's just not align with the runway. You go a little bit over here. Maybe. Turn us way out, didn't they? I look along with the runway. Why not? Maybe not. Okay, now I am. Oh, I'm not lying anymore. Sorry. Uh, one over here. Five hundred. Yep. Try to slow down, slow down. There we go. And we're still not quite aligned. Oh. Oh. Reduce throttle to idle. Yep. Now. Focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Oh, 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 I thought we was going to have a smooth landing there. <laughs> ah. ah, that didn't turn out very well, did it? All right, let's see if we, uh, My first instructor used to here. say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. Yeah, Today, that would be a good in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Good thing to do, I guess. Land and I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 20 degrees of flaps. I don't know what the 20 degrees of flaps Keep your means. Aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Okay. I 
gonna coast here. I'm not gonna try to slow down too much just yet. I don't wanna slow down too much. Really don't wanna try to uh increase altitude too much. I see the altitude dropping. We are coming down for a landing. I just kinda coast over there. Hopefully this does a lot better than the last one. along with the runway We're not maintaining 65 knots but that's perfectly fine hope we're not going to go too low here are we going in too low are we going to crash Oh no. I sure hope not. Oh uh, shit, I think we are. I think we are. We're, we're, we're too low here. Let's try to see if we can get some elevation. Oh shit, okay. Now let's. I'm going back down. The thing go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Don't stall! Don't stall! Come on! We need a. Reduce throttle to idle. Yep. I know. I know. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Don't stall on me! Don't now, stall on me! Focus on the end of the runway and pull back okay. slightly on the yoke to aim the nose <laughs> just above it. Ooh, we got a little out of control there. But I think we finally nice. got it. Now. Apply the brakes progressively to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Use rudder pedals to stay on the center line. I'm trying. You did well. There we go. But did you I? Can do better. <laughs> oh, I thought we was going to wreck there for Keep a minute. Keep in mind that approaching the runway at the right speed is key to a good landing. Uh huh. Well, we, we, we completed it. Ah. All right. All right. What are we doing now? Okay, we're currently flying on the downwind oh, leg at the standard traffic pattern like altitude of 6,000 feet. Okay. It's a flight path parallel to the landing runway, but in the opposite direction. In downwind, you want to start preparing for landing. That means setting your speed and flaps configuration. We are passing the end of the runway, so go ahead and reduce RPM to 1,700. It will help okay. you to slow you down to 80 knots and begin your descent. The flaps provide extra lift at the expense of additional drag. This extra lift allows flying at a lower airspeed. Flaps allow for smoother and shorter landings. Go ahead and extend 10 degrees of flaps, all while maintaining current speed. What? Extend? Turn to the base leg when the end of the runway is at a 45 degree angle behind us. Okay. Maintain 80 knots, reach the end of the downward leg. Turn left onto the base leg. Stalled. What? Somehow stalled. speed around 75 knots. Okay, we're there. Keep an eye on the runway as we get ready for our final turn. Wait, where are we going? Turn left onto final. We're turning. Turn left for final. Make your left turn onto final. I'm trying to. Make your left turn onto final. I'm turning left, damn it. Let me wrong. Keep a stabilized approach with 65 knots airspeed and prepare for landing. Bob, yeah, we need Use a... throttle and flaps as required to adjust the glide slope. Whoa, 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 whoa,
dropping too much. Come on. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. I know, I know. Stop. I know. You could tell me I'm stalling. You can clearly see that. Oh, how much? Oh shit, we're right here, ain't we? Oh fuck! Oh shit! This is not. Oh shit! Come on, let's. Can we? Can we? Stall. Come on, let's land. Let's land. Whoop! Whoop! Yeah. the brakes and stop the plane. Yep. Oh, we got to redo all this. Keep a stabilized approach with 65 knots oh, airspeed and this prepare for landing. Last part. Okay. Use throttle and flaps as required to adjust the glide slope. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't I'm trying sink. not to. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't oh, shit, come on. Don't sink. Don't, don't sink. tell me this. Don't sink. Stop. Don't sink. Oh, don't come on sink. now. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't Stop. sink. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. Quit telling me that. 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 Oh, yeah, I didn't realize I was that close to those fucking bushes. Yeah. Keep a stabilized approach with 65 knots airspeed and prepare for landing. I'm trying. Use throttle and flaps as required to adjust the glide slope. Stall. Don't sink. Don't Stall. sink. Don't sink. I don't know what don't this flaps sink. does don't over sink. here. Don't sink. 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 Stall. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Come on. Don't sink. Don't sink. Get back up there. Don't sink. 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 Try not to, dude. Don't sink. 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 Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. Okay, let's don't kinda sink, try don't to sink, land this smoothly, hopefully. Don't sink, don't sink. Come on, it'll be about there. Ooh. Apply the brakes and stop the plane. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> we did it. That's what I'm talking about, babies. You followed the traffic pattern well. Good job. Yeah, you didn't die this time. Oh, God. Uh, they not gonna tell me what to do? It's time. Your first solo flight. I'll be watching from the ground, in radio contact if you need me, but something tells me you won't. Yeah, she doesn't want to. Your wanna. goal is to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic pattern on your own. Remember everything we covered in our previous sessions, and you'll be just fine. Ah. Uh. Good luck. See you on the other side. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so yeah, she, she didn't want to ride with me. Now, uh, a little fun fact about me. I have actually flown a plane in real life. I've never did takeoff. I've never done landing. But after it got up in the air, I got to control it. However, a little bit, you know, turn it. It can go up and down a little bit. Not, not too much. I did. It was a plane kind of like this. Uh... It's been so long ago. I thought it was a biplane, though. I thought it had two wings, you know, one on top, one on bottom. I don't know. I do know it had, like, a bench seat in the back and then two cockpit seats here. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Go. Uh, all right. We got my brake. I guess not. I can get out like this. Let's go full speed. Before we start pulling up, maybe. Kind of see how we do. I don't want to pull up too much and our ass in hit the ground. Oh, man, we are off. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> All right, 53,000 feet. Maintain about 75. Nah, it's reached the end of the upwind leg. Upwind leg. Don't sink. 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 Don't
I'm not trying to, bitch. You know I'm. 35, let's go. 53, 53, come on. We still need it, we still need more, we still need more. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. good. Okay, anything about 75 knots. There we go. Go ahead and turn left. We're doing decent so far. We're not crashing way up here. Oh, they want 57. How oh, did I get it? Ground left or down. Wind bug. Maybe I was supposed to keep climbing there. I didn't know that. We might have fucked up there. It went away. We must get to 57,000 feet before we got uh, the turn going. 6,000. Come on. Climbing, keep climbing. There we're at 57. Almost at 58. Thousand, hell yeah. Okay, maintain six thousand, maintain eighty knots. That's gonna be fun. Then flaps ten degrees by pressing down. Okay. Fast, eh? Come on, maintain 80. Maintain 80. There we go. Oh. Okay, now what? Another turn here. I got a big Igot, Arkansas. That's where I started at doing all my testing, and here we are out in fucking who knows where. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so turn left for final approach. Maybe go up a little bit more. Oh my god. Come on. We got this, we got this. Maybe. Did I not turn left? I did turn left. Yeah. Gonna slow down. Maintain uh, five knots. Come on. Slow down. Slow down. Oh shit, god damn. And I was trying to fucking slow down to 65 knots so we could fucking take that decently there. And it was like, nope. Not today, bucko. Come on, let's speed up a little bit. Stall. 
Oh, no, don't, don't, don't tell me that bullshit. Trying to not go down too much. Trying to good, nice little healthy. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. I'm trying don't not to, sink. dude. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, you shut don't up. Sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, you shut up. Don't sink. I'm not sinking. Don't sink. 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 Oh, it's fucking camera. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Stall. Oh, you shut up. Stall. Shut up. Stall. Stall. Ah! Stall. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. God damn. Hey, uh, landing, landing is going to be our damn fall right here. Ah, uh, shit. Stall. Oh, shit. Nope. Don't do that to me. I'm don't not. Sink. Damn it. Don't Let me sink. Don't 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 sink. Ah, don't tell me I'm stalling. Don't sink. Don't sink. Try not to fucking get too low here. Don't sink. Don't sink. Go in the fucking landing. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't crash into no fucking trees or fences. Don't sink. Stall. Oh shit, god dang it. <laughs> How many times I gotta do this? Ah, la, 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 la. Go down. Maintain about 65. I'm not trying don't to sink, sink, dude. Don't sink. 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 I know. I'm trying. <laughs> we failed this, I'm sure. And this isn't for our fucking test yet. This is just the training for it. It'll be the easy shit. Oh, my goodnesses. I ain't ever going to give us our fucking lessons. Get down sink. 65. Don't sink. There we go. Stall. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Ha ha. Let me get back to the middle here. Come on. Got this. There we go, finally. I think a bit oh. more practice may be a good idea. <laughs> You're on your way to becoming one hell yeah. of a pilot. Uh, I don't know about all that, but all right. Whew. Yep. 
We did it. Probably failed. I think worse we can get to C, so I got C. Yeah. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.